Thanks very much. We're here at Zach's at Finch and Dufferin. Of course, all the Zach's locations all over Toronto. Carrie, I've got a uh, dance-a-thon going all weekend long with, with all of the balloons and everything. And we're having fun here. Oh, we're raising money. It's terrific. Oh, it's excellent. I've got a special guest. His name is Rocky Caputo. Now, Rocky, you're a disc jockey over at the yeah. military trail location. Right. But you also have done a tremendous job of fundraising. Oh, thanks. What we tried to do this summer was we picked a number of events. We all the locations did a car wash as well as we did a 10 kilometer run for the managers at Military Trail. And even one of the managers after the 10 kilometer run decided to go back and did 20. <laughs> and then um, I did a three day roof -a -thon in which I, with the other DJ, I just jockeyed from the roof and I lived up on the roof of Zach's for three days to raise money. So how much money did you raise over the summer for MD? Um, each, goal, each store is hoping to raise $5,000. That's our goal. And Military Trail, we're really close to it as well as all the other stores were really close. Yeah. Well, that's great. Congratulations to you and all the work that you've done. I know that uh, Jerry's kids are really going to appreciate it. Jerry, you've got uh, some guests over there I you sure want to talk do. to. I have Lynn Knight over here. And Lynn, how are you feeling? Terrific. How long have you been dancing? Since 9 o'clock last night. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hello there. Hi. How long have you been dancing? Uh, about 18 and a half hours. 18 and a half hours. Oh, my. You must be just exhausted. Uh, we're really having a good time here. Great. No? Well, looks like they're, everybody's they're, just... They're so busy dancing, they haven't got time to talk. You know what amazes me is that they started dancing last night, and here it is, almost 3.30 in the afternoon, and they are still, still going. going. That's amazing. And it's happening at all the Zach's locations all over Toronto, as well as the one out in Belleville. They are raising money for Jerry's kids, and you should get on the phone and make that pledge. Now, let's go back to the Toronto Airport Hilton. They're doing everything they can to raise money. They are doing dances. They are doing BMX races, which I am, oh, did that hurt? which I am all ready for. With me is uh, Blair. How do you pronounce your last name, Blair? Lang. Lang. Okay, Blair. Tell me about uh, the BMX race that you had out in Ajax. Uh, this weekend we had our Grand Provincial races, uh, Gene, which uh, we also incorporated a Labor Day Classic for muscular dystrophy. Uh, we had 85 kids race in the, on that weekend. Uh, we had 64 trophies to give out and uh, all proceeds, all entry fees that came, that the kids' entry fees for the races went 100% to muscular dystrophy. Okay, let's take a look over here at some of the kids. First of all, how much did you raise? $1,405. $1,405 on the BMX racers. Let's look, take a look at these guys and thank the sponsors, the uh, Dixon Printing, John Bauer Nursery, Discover Sports, ADV Signs, Miller Printing Equipment, Bannisters, Henry Dew, do It Center and Ajax, uh, Royal LePage, Bellamy's Ajax, Video Dynasty, Custom Racks, Manhattan Trophies, Peel Fence System, Innovative Building Products, uh, Dr. Michael Fu, Cap King, and now what I'd like to do is bring, come on over here just a minute. Okay, this guy, how old are you? 15. 15, you're not allowed to be this tall at 15, just squatch down a little bit, thank you very much. And you got the check for me there, right pal? Yep. Your name is? Bill Marsh. Okay, Bill, how'd you do in the races? Uh, I came in third. Not half bad at all, okay. No, if you're going to do that, come on out here and do it. Okay, there you are. Good. Good. Okay, and uh, let's see the checks there. Okay, we've got uh, $1,275, $100, and another 30 bucks. So that's what the folks from BMX Racing are do doing. And believe me, it's not easy. No, if you're going to do that, put the finger right up in front of the face so nobody can see me. Okay, right now, let's go back into Mike Darrell, who's doing such a wonderful job. Mike's a big wheel on his own. Oh, that's true. That hat does wonders for you, Gene. Keep it. We're with uh, the people we love to see, Max Convenience Stores. Uh, they've been on twice so far since we've started our telethon this year. And uh, for the final time today, we have the Sales and Development Coordinator for Eastern Region, Mr. Mark Galloway. Welcome, Mark. Thank you very much. We um, just go over again what Max's involvement with uh, Muscular Dystrophy Telethon is. Well, we, uh, we try to raise money uh, in our stores uh, with canisters uh, through contributions from our customers. Uh, we operate golf tournaments and... Uh, uh, car washes and things like that at our stores throughout the year to raise money. Now, now uh, in the last uh, times that the people were, uh, representing your store were on, they were telling us that they were doing very, very well, but you have uh, the grand total for us uh, this year, right? That's right. You've had uh, two donations already. Uh, I'd like to add to that and bring to our total uh, $75,000. Thank you. Would you thank all your people, and uh, especially would you say hi to Rick Broadhead, who, uh, who has the nerve to enjoy himself this weekend when you're out here working. I'll do that, and thanks to our customers for their help. 
Thank you very much, Max Convenience Stores. And now Loretta has some people. I sure do. Joining me now is Ralph Patterson, and he's the president of Canadian Parents Without Partners, and he's joined by his daughter, Suzanne. And I want you to tell me, how did you raise all this money? Well, I go to the trailer park and I make a collection. I go to Steve's Steakhouse and get a dinner for two and raffle it off. I go to Al Stavros and get a dinner for two and raffle it off. And I go to Parents Without Partners and I go scrounging around all the chapters and we come up with a few, money, a few dollars. Is this man organized or what? And Suzanne, I understand that you have a challenge. Yes, we do. We have a challenge for single parent families across Canada. And I'd like you to tell you to pick up the phones, give us a call. We're waiting for your pledge right now. Terrific. Can you have something for me, do you? Yes, there. I'd like to mention also we've got about 50 people here manning the phones. So pick up the phones right now. They're waiting. How much uh, is the check for? I've got um, over $2,000, over $2, dear. Terrific. Thank you very much. Okay. And I have, um, and now we go over to Jean. All righty. With me, we have Murray Nutt from Sudbury, Ontario. And what a shocker, another firefighter. <laughs> Firefighters, as I mentioned time and time again, have helped us out, as of the police and all the other organizations, but the firefighters really outdo themselves. And what have you got for me? I have a check for $4,343, raised from a toll plaza in the new Sudbury Shopping Center. And for those of you who aren't aware of how the toll plazas work, the firefighters are real low-key about it. Uh, you don't have to give if you don't want your tires slit. It's totally up to you. It's <laughs> your idea. No, it's, no, of course it's not true, but they do a fabulous job and they always come up with money. And now you can do your part to come up with money too. Get up off your tushes. Those of you who are saying, well, I wonder how they're going to do. Now is the time to get up and make a phone call. Give us a call. You see the numbers running across the screen, especially those of you up in Sudbury because they're coming all the way down here. And now let's go over to the lovely and often talented, always exciting and quite dynamic Loretta. Thank you very much. Joining me is some people from the Loyal Order of Moose. And to my left is Tom Mulhinch, and he's the governor of Loyal Order of Moose. And next to him is Betty Beatty. She's a member of the Women of the Moose and is involved with MD fundraising events. And George Grant is also a member of the Loyal Order of Moose. Now, I understand that you folks have raised a lot of money. Tell everyone out there how you did it. Well, first of all, we uh, held a dance-a-thon. Uh, which was quite successful. And then from uh, all the members of the Lodge who attended the Lodge, they held various auctions and uh, asked them to uh, contribute to this uh, worthwhile cause, the MDA, for Jerry's kids. So uh, right now I'd like to give uh, a check for $968.62, which is from the Loyal Order of Moose itself and the offices and members of the Lodge. Thank you very much. That's one check. I'll take that. We're quick to grab the money around here. And I understand we also have another check. Yes, as, as representative of the Legionnaires of the Moose, um, and with conjunction with the Ladies of the Moose and the, and the Moose Lodge itself, and all our lovely people and supporters, I would like to present a check for $4,031.30. Thank you so much. And now we go back over to Gene. All righty. We have a number of letters that we get from the folks of the Muscular Dystrophy Association, and they pass some of them along to us to read to you. This is one from a lady named Rhonda Lee Dagg of Ottawa, Ontario. Rhonda writes, Dear MDAC, it's a great privilege to once a year give something to your great organizations. I wish I could give more, but my only source of income is an Ottawa citizen paper route and babysitting, seeing as I'm only turning 14 years old. And she gives part of that money. You can give part of your money too. If everybody had the spirit of Rhonda, we could beat it. Michael? We're here with the Stedman's people. We like to talk to them because they, 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 they look so cute holding teddy bears, the Stedman bears. I have with me Mr. Philip Brown, Vice President of Store Operations for Stedman's. And next to him, Mr. John Harborinko, who is a dealer in the booming metropolis of Forest, as he calls it. Let me talk to you first, Philip. Uh, tell us about the bears and uh, when it started and what you do. Okay, these little guys, uh, this is the Stedman charity bear. And in November, he kicks off our toy land all across Canada. And for every bear that's sold, a dollar goes to Jerry's kids. 
Now, last year you were going to sell 15,000 bears, did you? Yes, we did. 15,000. $15,000. This year, what's your, what's, what, what are you aiming for? 30 this year. 30,000 bears. And they'll start in this November. They'll start selling them in the stores. In, in November. Good. Well, you can see them, and they're in front of our, our VIP panel as well. And as a matter of fact, there's uh, Gene playing with one right now. And that's what he does best, is play with teddy bears. Anyway, <laughs> you're looking to sell 30,000 bears. I hope you do. And uh, you have a down payment for us, uh, John? We do, Mike. On uh, behalf of Stedman's and the... Uh, Dealer organization, I'd like to present you with this check for $5,000. Oh, that's marvelous. And you, you know how much is to come, $25,000. So make sure you get into Stedman's in November and get one of those charity bears for us, okay? Why don't you stay right here, because we're going to hit a drum roll now, Terry, and we're going to change the total above us. And it's going to go from $1,049,000 to $1,214,065. Yes, keep going. While we go back to Las Vegas and some music, you make sure you call our pledge numbers and do it now.